There are three schools of thought when upgrading to the latest and greatest cameras. The first one is, heck yes, my pre-order is in. The second is, I think I'll wait. And the third, although rare, is my favorite. So that's what I did. The wild beasts of Portugal. That was fun. Hey guys over here. Yeah, the idea for this video, the idea that instead of upgrading and instead of buying that thousand, two thousand, three thousand dollar camera, what if you went on a trip for that much? That came about from a comment that I, I would always see in forums and videos. There's always that one person that would leave that comment and it always stuck with me. Yeah, what if you did use the money for an experience? Like, what if you used the money for an, instead of an R5, you went on a safari to photograph animals? What if you went to Costa Rica to shoot birds or to do landscape photography in Norway? It, we never think about that because there's instant gratification in the little gift that arrives, right? And um, I think the investment in time and the, you need sometimes a little support from your spouse <laughs> that, uh, you know, that, that takes a little bit more commitment, a little bit more effort than just clicking buy it now and getting that instant gratification from the beautiful and wonderful cameras. Don't get me wrong. Uh, some of the cameras are amazing and are worth the upgrade, but I just wanted to you know, put a little spin on it, maybe an inspiration for those of you that maybe keep shopping for the latest and greatest, and you're not really going anywhere. You're not doing anything new. You're not experiencing a new location, new foods, new places to photograph. Now, I was thinking of bringing along the Fujifilm X-T3 because the video was based on not buying the X-T5. This is two models before the X-T5, so I thought it was, it would have been appropriate it does great video, it does great photos, but I want it to go even further, <laughs> even crazier and older. Instead, I brought along the Fujifilm X-T20, the camera that started this channel. I thought that was appropriate. Bring a camera that's even older. And for the most part, I use the Fujifilm 18 to 55 kit lens because this one at least did stabilize video and it's just so versatile when you're walking around. And the lens that I, used so much, I didn't think I would use it so much, <laughs> was uh, one that I showed in a video recently, the Fujifilm 55 to 200, which was great, believe it or not, for street photography, for compression. I loved this uh, lens for shooting buildings and landscapes. That was my favorite. And although I used the Fujifilm X-T20 for like 80, 90% of my photos, uh, I needed something better for video. So I brought along the uh, Nikon Z6 II, which I kind of was torn about. I felt like I was cheating a little bit with the experiment, but <laughs> I justified it by saying this is not a Z9, which costs a lot more. And uh, again, I did photo mostly. It was a photography trip. And so the Fujifilm took care of that. 
I also used the Insta360 X3, which I just did a video about recently, and it was really good to sort of, you know, film yourself. That was what this was great for. And then on my sling bag here, I had a little Peak Design clip, and that's where I put my little GoPro 8, so that I could get a little, if I'm walking around, just a little POV of me walking, if a location was pretty. I didn't have to worry about filming. I could just, you know, shoot photos and have that filming. And also don't underestimate your phone. I used my phone for good stabilized video, which was great. And I got some good shots, uh, even some photos with my phone uh, in a pinch. Although I prefer snobby, the camera. And I could tell you right now, sitting and eating food in Portugal and driving through the countryside and seeing cows and sheep and feeling super relaxed and just super inspired with all the new sights and sounds. And that's what's, what's great about travel is you're like hyper aware in this new place you're at. It was totally worth it. And I hope that inspires some of you to maybe start planning for the summer, for next year, that you're not gonna upgrade. That maybe you start putting some of that camera money away for a trip or for an experience or for a workshop or somewhere you know, some, some place that will inspire you as opposed to a, you know, a lens or a piece of camera to inspire you. It was a great experiment and something that I look forward to. It's also an experiment for me and the channel. Would I be able to go and travel vlog with cameras? I'm like locked up in this little office and it was great to sort of get out and um, sort of get a little taste of what it would be like to travel vlog and and uh, go on trips just for photography, which was great. So again, huge thank you to my wife who let me go. <laughs> and also the you guys for that idea. All of you that have commented ever, you don't need to upgrade. Why don't you use the money for an experience? Well, I thank you because you're the inspiration for this video and for the trip. Oh yeah, tell me where you would go instead of upgrading to the camera, where would you want to go?